Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope on Thursday of the 15th week of the year. I am Father Jim Marshanda. Today I'm going to share with you the gospel that we have for the day according to Matthew. It's very short. We know it well, short enough that I think we should hear it together. Jesus spoke thus, Come to me, all you who are weary, and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy, and my burden light. Powerful very short but powerful gospel about what God's role is in our burdens and in our suffering, about where God is, who God is in our challenges in life. I've used this gospel for so many funeral services, masses, prayer services, because the interesting lesson, the fundamental lesson is Jesus says, come to me with your burdens, but he doesn't say I'll take them away. If you come to me, they're gone, poof. No, come to me and I'll refresh you, which means the burdens may remain, the suffering may remain. Do we trust God enough to carry our burdens to God, not expecting a magical removal of them, but a hopeful enduring of them and carrying them with courage and trust and confidence? There's a marvelous song by the Nashville composer John N. Gotti called I Survive. The refrain says, I survive because you love me. And I survive and look death right in the face. I survive the struggle because you love me. My savior, my confidant, the beginning and the end, my forgiver, my friend. I love that so much besides his powerful rendering of it and his beautiful voice. I like it because it matches this gospel perfectly. I I survive because you love me. I don't survive because you take it all away. My friends, the gospel for us today invites us to trust God with such a breath of trust that when we pray about what causes us grief, we pray confidently knowing that even if it remains, we will carry it in a refreshing way because Jesus is with us. Let us be real in our prayer, and let us trust that even if our burdens continue, our God is with us. God bless you.